With this front panel, I want to try something with this epoxy. I bought this kind of set from our local shop. This is two parts, so I have to mix it. I would like to have an even layer on the top of this panel and also that this epoxy is going inside these holes. Obviously I have to block this uh, backside somehow and also these edges that this epoxy won't flow away. And also I have to block this middle hole. This is my first time ever using something like this. I'm a little bit nervous, but... Backside is pretty good covered. Is it waterproof? I don't know and I'm not going to try. It probably will leak. I hope not too much that I can't sand it away. The main thing is that this liquid is not leaking out. I think this middle part is also not a big problem. I think it will get more easier if I will take care of it now. I don't even know how much I need this, but I will put now 100 grams. 60 grams of this hardener. I think in this box there was nothing that how long I have to mix this. I also don't want to mix too fast. I'm sure that if I will mix too fast there's coming more of those bubbles. It's spot on. It looks pretty good. There is some small bubbles, but are they going away? It's the next day. This epoxy is drying. I will let it dry good. Next I have to think about this stand. I try to make it as simple as possible. I will integrate light to the stand. Behind this plate I hope it will glow through these holes and through this epoxy. How am I going to do that? I don't know yet, so I just have to build something. I have to make some kind of slot for this wood. That's why I made this kind of uh, dangerous jig. Let's see if it's going to work. I think it's perfect. This is why I made these slots. I want to put here aluminium piece which I can bend. I will glue these woods here together like so. Next, I try to make this a little bit more prettier. I will round here some edges and here and sand it that it's even. Then I have to think about this hole for this lamp. I will carve this slot 
for this cable. And a small kind of a mistake that I also did this. I didn't have to do that, but it doesn't look bad. Next I will attach this, this piece to this bottom plate and I'm going to use uh, these kind of screws and uh, shreds. been drying now over 24 hours. It feels hard. I just want to open it. I want to take these tapes away and look what's going to happen. Okay, here these edges I have to sand which was actually expected. This tape is a little bit stuck. To this uh, backside of this plate, I have to route a slot for this uh, clock mechanism. I have to get it more deep, otherwise I can't put all these pointers. I was <laughs> getting a little bit crazy with this epoxy, so it's a quite thick layer. Uh, for that I made a chick for my router, and in theory, if I will move this plate inside these pieces, it should route the right size slot here. Okay, this chick, it works pretty good. I'm a big fan of magnets and I'm going to attach this front panel to this arm with magnets. I will uh, drill here slots for two magnets and also here the backside two magnets. At least it didn't come out from this side, that's a positive. I'm so surprised how good these magnets are and how strong these are. It will easily hold this in place. Next I will install this uh, clock mechanism and it will add a little bit more weight, but I don't think that it's a problem. Then I will start to oil this thing. I think first I have to oil this thing, yeah. Yeah, first I will oil. I changed my mind. I'm not going to use any oil with this one. I'm going to use this. That's Holtz butter. I love how it will change this color of this wood. And it's also give a little bit of protection. Of course, this stuff is always inside, so it doesn't need that much protection. Well, Swiss product, not sponsored. Easy to work with. I'm just using this towel. So good. For this one I don't even need any glue. It's quite 
tight here and I can just screw this. Let's check that it's straight. I will install the switch and cable. I don't know yet how long, but I hate when cables are too short, so I will do that. Finally, it's time to put this uh, clock mechanism together and install it to this front panel. This set came with two kind of uh, hands. I think these are called hands. These kind of square ones and a little bit more classic ones. And I'm going to use these classic ones. I don't want to put this too tight, just put it finger tight like so. want to break anything because this is oval and this is quite small these are kind of too big I don't mind I'm not going to cut these shorter it will come out a little bit here but it really doesn't matter I'm just so worried that I will break something now all these are attached they won't touch anything. Already. So. Thirty, I will put it thirteen thirty five. I like it. That was my first epoxy project ever and my original idea was that I want to make a clock and I'm using epoxy in this front panel and I want that this is also a table lamp and this light will also coming through these holes which is which are in front panel and it works. This design I didn't know in the beginning how I will do it, so that's kind of going with the flow. But I'm quite happy about this. And it was fun to make. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.